Hello there everyone, and welcome to an episode of um, a game called The Isle. This game is in alpha, or pre-alpha settings, so um, don't expect it to be perfect, expect crashes just in case, and everything. But anyway, I'm back, and I have a new setup and everything. Um, and yeah, so this is fun. So today we're gonna... I've seen people play as herbivores, so, but yep, we've got the Tyrannosaurus Rex and its skins. It's a dinosaur game where you actually play as a dinosaur, and you've got it's a survival game where you actually are a dinosaur. And we've got carnivores, and this is Carnotaurus. Uh, we have T-Rex, we've got Gallimimus, which is a herbivore, but very fast. Um, we have Osteoraptors, which are incredibly hard to play at the minute, and the pounce doesn't work. Um, Brontosauruses. And the textures load, if they load. Sometimes they load, sometimes it takes a while. Like I say, this is in pre-alpha. Um, but I think today, I'll just show you all the others. Shan Shantungasaurus. Um, and Fez uh, Um Sorry if I pronounced any of those wrong. Um, but yeah, today we're going to take out the T-Rex. And my favourite texture is the blue one. So let's get into the game and see what it's all about. Oh my god, what is going on here? Hello, Gallimimus. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, insanity. So if I press, walk up to a corpse and press E, I can eat the corpse. There's a raptor trying to, kind of torus just eight bit me. Let's see if we can get this guy. Apologize for the lag, this is the only server that has lots of people on it at the minute. Um, this guy's being a dick. Oh my god, ping, ping's going crazy. Press F, I can roar. Let's see if we can get this guy, oh my god. What is this like? Okay, I'm dead. Sorry about that, we get spawn killers on here. It's really irritating, so hopefully we'll get to another spawn. Too many spawn killers. Right, spawn again. Right. Let's just move out this time. See if we can find any water. We'll go and scavenge. Well, this is a lot of players on. Yeah, T-Rexes tend to be quite nice, usually. They usually protect each other. And it's just kind of Taurus, so I really don't. Of Lot of roaring. Rawr! Rawr! Okay, so he does. We are currently not hungry or anything. Uh, although I can see a hunger bar, which is down in the bottom right. Which is slowly becoming visible. Not now that I've eaten something. Right, let's see if we can... Make it to a... Decent place, and maybe go hunting. Some of these predators. No wonder why there's so many carnivores around here. Fun fact about me, if you didn't know, I actually adore dinosaurs and anything prehistoric. I love uh, big dinosaurs. So I love Brontos. I love. Um, oh my god, the roaring is insane! Ow! Uh, my ears are bleeding. Save me. Save 
Save me, my ears are bleeding. Oh, food. Let's go eat food. Alright, sorry about that. But yeah, I do love um, dinosaur. Oh my god, it's still loud. So I'm gonna go over here for a second. But yeah, I do love dinosaurs. T Rex isn't my favourite, but I do love large carnivores. Carnivores are so cool in my opinion. Although I would prefer to be a amphibian. Or a amphibian or some sort of Ooh, water. Um Some sort of large herbivore. But anything large I like. The small nippy things, I mean I do like raptors and all that, but T-Rexes can travel in packs just the same, so it's a game if you actually have people who uh, play this with you, if you have friends and all that. My friends have this game yet. But anyway, so yeah, so probably still not the same. I'm really scared of going back over here. One, the noisy, and two... To attack people on site. I, I, I trust um, trust my own kind and raptors more than I trust um, herbivores. Let's go to drink some water and hope that we don't get killed. I need to regain my stamina. Oh, you can crouch. It looks so funny. Like I say, T Rex, you can tend to trust more. Even as a herbivore, it's carno, so you can't trust. tends to be like a Kano T-Rex thing. I find like the Kano is very overpowered right now. I know that this is pre-alpha and everything's going to probably change and stuff. But the Kano is incredibly overpowered. Uh, well, it's not overpowered, it's not just that. It's, it's the fact that they are very fast. Ridiculously fast. Usually this is the universal signal of okay, we can be friends. Nom nom nom, Kano me. Albino Kano me, my favourite. It's very no noisy. Pronto's like killing us. Carnos are dicks. Raptors are like glass and they haven't even fixed their pounce. And I'm really struggling to talk over all this noise. I'm going to continue and find this legendary twin lakes. I wonder if they'll follow me. So if I press insert, you get your coordinates and your stamina. I'm very low on stamina right now, so I'll just walk for a bit. But yeah, I love this game, and I love its potential. Um, the developers um, are using the models. If you recognize the models and they play something like a game called The Stomping Ground, 
you will notice that the models, it's the same models basically, and basically, after the stomping ground, uh, ground uh, hit, hit rock bottom and the developer left with all the cash and everything, um, the modeler decided to keep these models and sell them to other people. Ah, nice and quiet. Fine. Nom grass. I like grass. The nom. Um, so yeah, that happened. And uh, but yeah, I like the the promising thing about this game. I mean, obviously pre-alpha, it's not going to be good. So please, if you do comment on this video, please don't say uh, it's animations are crap and all that. I mean, it is still a work in progress. And why would you buy a free alpha and all that? Blah 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 blah. Um, basically, because I don't know. I, I think it's a great idea, and I want to support them with that idea. So, uh, yeah. I think the twins are this way. But yeah, if you guys have um, this on Steam and you want someone to form a, a pack with or anything, or that, just add me on Steam. You'll find my name is Epic Toaster UK. Um, I'll set, I'll put a link in the description for it. And if you want to play, just send me a message. And uh, if I'm available, I'll get back to you. Um, but yeah, this has promising. Uh, oh, look at you, so cute detail on the models though. But yeah, I think it's an interesting perspective. I mean, we always have survival games as humans and we've got to survive dinosaurs like Ark and everything, but I actually like this idea of actually surviving as a carnivore or surviving as a herbivore against the carnivores and stuff like that. Um, T-Rex is definitely my favourite at the minute. Although I might play Raptor a little bit more when they fix the pounce. They're also adding, I believe, some uh, flying creature into this. Um, I've heard rumours it's a Quetzalcoatlus, but I'm not sure. Don't bet on it sort of thing. Like I could say, I'm only going off what I've heard. Um, I can't wait for the next update. Yeah. Um, so this is just a brief... Introduction. If you want me to do more in the video, please like, subscribe, add me on Steam even, um, and I'll play this with you. Um, we can move in. We can do a herd if you want to do a herd. We can do everything. Um, yeah. So, I guess this is Epic Toaster. Saying, uh, see you later. And I'm hoping to come back with more of this. Uh, I'll keep you updated with everything that's going on. It's updated and everything. So yeah, uh, please like, subscribe, comment on the video, um, tell me stuff, tell me your favourite dinosaur even. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is Epic Toaster signing off for today. Good night, my friends, or good evening, good morning, whatever. <laughs> See you later. Oh, and Rexy wants to say bye. Bye.